Welcome to Makeup Monday. Uh, if you saw the other tutorial, I look like this again, but we are going to be doing a look with the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. It's this look here. It's very autumnal, very fall inspired. And I've already got some Shiseido Benefiance um, Wrinkle Resistant 24 Cream on my eyes and I use Buffet as my moisturizer. And we're going to just start with some Urban Decay Primer Potion. Get that everywhere we need to get that. Just gonna get right into our lovely tutorial here. Get a little bit underneath there. And we're going to start with the burnt orange color called Ignite. I don't agree with a lot of the names in this and this is one of them. I would prefer calling that color Well Traveled or something like that. But I'm just using a small flat shader brush and we're just going to be putting that on all, like the first third of the lid, maybe a little more like half I guess of the lid. Putting that in there. And then I have a little towel next to me to clean off my brushes. But using just this smaller brush, I'm going to go in with the color Weekender just to make a nice smooth transition color here into the crease. And then with a much larger paddle brush, I'm gonna go in with the color name I also disagree with called Big Sky. But because of the color of it, it like aquatic would have probably been a better color or ocean view in my opinion don't want to mix these colors too much because you'll just end up with a really unpleasant brown both of these are shimmery colors I'm just gonna pull that out and then with this pencil brush little mermaid pencil brush we're gonna go in with the color punk woodlands would probably be a better color for that with a born to run palette and we're just going to be doing some placing of this nice dark melted chocolate brown around the eye here. I've had to go through, I try to keep my eyelids because I have this little crease, I need to bring the color up higher and I wanna make sure that it's as smooth as possible and that transition color really, really helps and we're gonna get that melded into the crease so that if I open my eyes, there's not like a weird line there. But we're gonna go and bring that down into our inner corner. Get that out there. And then I'm going to take the MAC 224, which is just a big fluffy brush, and just do some blending. This will help lighten that edge a little bit, help smooth out that color so it's not so intense and that edge line isn't as defined. We're not really going for a defined upper crease color here for this particular look. Just some quick swipes. Then taking Weekender again, which is just a very light, light tan color. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone. And I'm gonna use that as the highlight to further smooth out that punk color, that melted chocolate. And I'm just using that on a big angled, not very dense brush. Going to just go over the inner corner here, lighten that up a little bit, back and forth. And then I had to do this on the other eye, and when I did this look the other day, just have to even out this outer corner. I'm really not sure why it kind of gets, has this uneven texture. Maybe that won't happen to you, but it happened to me. Then we're going to be using the next brush three times for three different colors to make sure you have your towel nearby. This is just an angled brush and I'm gonna take that color Ignite, go into the inner corner, go halfway, clean it off, go back in with Big Sky, just a shimmering turquoise, kind of a muted turquoise. And then I'm gonna take the color called Breakaway, which is a shimmering peach. I'm gonna use that as our inner corner highlight. Nothing too intense there. Then I'm gonna use the Urban Decay 24 seven liner in Supply. Just a shimmering medium brown to line the eyes here. A few back and forth swipes. 
using our Physicians Formula 2 in 1 Eye Booster in black. Going to line the upper line here. No wing, because there's no point with a color that dark on the outside. Shu Uemoru Eyelash Curler. And then I'm going to do my mascara with Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara in Intense Black. It's ridiculous right now, but we're going to use a makeup sponge. I know this color isn't perfect on me, but once you sheer it out and put some powder on it, it actually doesn't look too bad. I just needed to layer it up. So I did my brows in my brow pencil, my e.l.f. brown pencil in natural brown. Okay, got that going. Going to use my translucent Fit Me powder from Maybelline, the pressed version. Then I'm going to use my Coastal Sense blusher and I'm going to just use this muted orange copper. If I had a proper color on it would look a little bit better, but it doesn't look too bad. You don't want to overwhelm eyes like this with your blush color that looks that ends up looking a little clowny, doesn't it now? Then I'm going to be using my e.l.f. small stipple brush with my Precious Petals Wet n Wild highlighter. Put that in all my usual highlighting spots here. And then the last thing I'm going to be using that same angled blusher brush to use my MAC Solar Reach bronzer just up here and around here. Give a little color to the face. And then I'm going to use my Hard Candy Hydrating Primer Mist. Spray it all over the face. And then the last thing we're going to do is our lipstick. This is a burnt orange mixed with copper. And it's Apollo from NYX, one of their round lipsticks to really try to play up the burnt orange part. Like I said, this does have a little bit of a copper pink hint to it. But there we go. I hope that you enjoy this fun fall look and I will see you for the next.